Hello and good morning. My name is John Barley and welcome for today's sales advice here in Farming Simulator 19. Our today's topic is planters. Um, right here we have all the equipment which is available in the planters category in Farming Simulator 19. Um, quite a nice variety of equipment, very different um, sizes working with um, so basically for every farm size you have um, in Farming Simulator 19 you get the proper piece of equipment um, yeah, for, your, for your farm size so there's actually something for everybody. Um, with regards to the price performance ratio um, it's a little bit trickier this time how I calculated this. Last time it was pretty easy. You had a working width of a cultivator, for example, and you had a price and just broke down how many euros you pay per meter working width. width. Here it is a little bit um, more complicated. So first we have working width of the equipment, so right here, and we have a tank size. Um, and the way I calculated um, the price performance ratio is basically um, took the working width um, with regard um, in relation with the sales price and took the tank capacity in relation with the um, sales price and make the average um, out of it and that number then give, made the ranking so and to start things off we have here um, a Lemkin combination. So we have the Lemkin Solitaire 23, which is the, the tank um, with 2000 liters capacity only for fertilizers. And we have the Lemkin Azerite 9, um, the actual planter over here, which has 600 liter capacity and is only um, for the seed. Um, yeah, just as you see here, um, for example, for the, for the tank, for example, it has nice animation like the staircase um, flipping away and um, the, yeah, the lid coming on so this is quite nice uh, but as I said this tank only has um, uh, only takes um, fertilizer the actual planter has six meters of working width um, yeah and this is the equipment with the best price performance ratio on second place is this Wetterstedt combination. So we have the FH 2200 um, tank over here, which can take um, fertilizer as well as seeds, and now it's filled with seeds. And we have the Wetterstedt Tempo V8, which is the actual planter, also with six meters working with. The planter itself has a 696 liters tank, which is split up in 506 liters of seed and 100. 36 liters of fertilizer. So based on the fact that I have 2000 liters of seed in here, you see we have only 136 liters of fertilizer in it and 2760 liters of seed in it. Um, just as I said, six meters working with, so just identical to the Lemkin um, device over here, but the Lemkin is a little bit better in its price performance ratio because both have the same working width, but we have 26,000 for the Lemkin planter plus 8,000 for the tank is uh, 34,000. And we have here with Werderstedt, we have 30,000 um, for the planter and also 8,000 for the tank. So it's 38,000 euros or whatever currency you have um, for this combination. So that's why it's a little bit um, less price effective. So the next one is this Kvernaland um, device over here. It's the Optima V. Um, it has a 1,360 liters capacity divided in 1,000 liters of fertilizer and 360 liters of seed. Has 4.5 meters of working width. And this is um, right now it's uh, folded together. And if you unfold it for your working, it unfolds to its working width like this looks nice yeah the, so this is pre, uh, ranked on third place um, with this um, in this price performance ratio the next one is this over here it's the Great Plains 
YP2425A. Um, it is overall the second most expensive piece of equipment which is um, which will be displayed today but in its price performance ratio it's still on fourth place it has a 5800 liters capacity but this time only for the seed not um, for the fertilizer and it has 18.2 meters of working width jump into the tractor we just take a look how it unfolds does it like that um, there is it 18.2 meters of working width um, over uh, absolute numbers it costs 142,000 euros um, but in relation to its working width it's still on fourth place um, because of the really really wide wor working width and something which is very special about this piece of equipment is it can basically plant all crop types so it can do wheat um, corn canola barley cotton grass oat seed radish oat um, soybeans and sunflowers basically that's I think that's, that's our all. Um, unlike the other planters, which can only do sunflowers, soybeans, corn, sugar beet, and cotton. So not only that this is uh, very wide, it also can do much more crops than the other pieces of equipment. Um, yeah, so this is the Great Plains. Right next uh, in our list is this piece of equipment here. It's the first of three horse um, um, planters. It's the SW2475, um, 18 meters working width, 7000 liter um, fertilizer tank and 2000 liters of seeds with 18.4, 18 meters um, of width. But in essence this is the most expensive item of them all with 169,000 euros but as you can see here just open it and we have the tank here of fertilizers and here is the sea tank so this is the first of the average um, cost planters next on also a harsh piece of equipment this is the one over here. This is the Horsch Maestro 12 SE. Um, also 9,000 liter tank capacity divided by 7,000 liters of fertilizer, uh, 2,000 liters of seed. And this one has nine meters of working width. So basically half of the working width of the one we have before with 80 meters. This device costs 93,000 euros and this explains why it's a little bit um, lower in the ranking um, because if you take two of these um, you have also the 18 meters working width but it will cost you 186,000 euros compared to the 169,000 euros which this equipment will cost so it's a little bit lower in the ranking than the one we had before moving on from big planters to the smallest planters um, we have available is this one this is the amazona ed 3000 c um, nice planter three meters walking width um, and it has a tank capacity of 1440 liters divided in 240 liters of seed and 900 liters of fertilizer um, yeah, so this is an average um, price performance ratio planter, but the smallest one, if you have only small fields, uh, fields this is the one that will probably do it for you. And with 27,000 euros, it's the cheapest of the bunch we have uh, displayed today, but it, it, in relationship, it's more like an average priced piece of equipment. Moving on to a 
Vedastat or the second Vedastat equipment. This is the Vedastat Tempo L16, um, 7080 liters tank capacity, um, split up in 1600 liters of seed and 5480 liters of fertilizer. It has 12 meters of working width and it costs 129,000 euros so one of the more costly pieces of equipment um, with 12 meters of working with speaking of 12 meters we move on to the last of the horse equipment which is the one over here this has also 12 meters of working width it's the horse maestro sw 1675 9,000 liters tank capacity, also 7,000 liters of fertilizer and 2,000 liters of seed. So basically, Horsch is using the same tank for all of, or the same tank capacity for all of their equipments. Um, this costs 139,000 euros, so it's 10,000 euros more than the Werdestedt equipment, and also it has, but it has the slightly bigger tank, but. With regards, even this bigger tank does not compensate for the 10,000 euros of more cost. So basically, if you need a 12 meters planter, probably go for the Vedestad um, because it's giving you a better price performance ratio, which does not mean that this Horsch equipment is not bad because it's not at all. And last but not least is a Kuhn piece of equipment. This is the Kuhn planter 3r 12 rows um, it's a well 12 row <laughs> planter actually and it's if in its folded position is like this and if you unfold it it's going like this it's a 5.4 meters planter 1204 liters capacity divided in 640 liters of fertilizer and 564 liters of seed for an overall price of 54,000 euros, but in relationship, unfortunately, this is the equipment with the worst price performance ratio, although it's a very nice piece of equipment. And um, well, if you have a, an average size farm and just need a 5.4 meters uh, planter, that's probably still the one you will go for. So yeah, that's it. This is our um, this is our today's sales advice with regards to planters. Leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you very much for your interest. Thank you very much for your attention, and see you next time.